So last night at the 2022 MTV VMA Awards, Nicki Minaj received the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award um, for all of the contributions she's made uh, video-wise towards hip-hop. But one of the things that was interesting about her acceptance speech is that she failed to mention Lil' Kim, which I honestly believe it was done blatantly. I honestly believe that. You know, all the bobs are going to have an excuse of why it didn't happen, and she said this, and she said her flow. But if we talk about Nicki Minaj's flow, Nicki Minaj literally did freestyles over Lil' Kim hit songs when she was coming up. She didn't do a freestyle over Foxy Brown record. She didn't do a freestyle over Lauren Hill or all, any of the other people that she mentioned. She literally freestyled over Lil' Kim records, talking about inspiring flow. I know that she said flow, but let's talk about the looks over the years. I mean, we could do this all day. We could do this all day. I think everybody knows this. We could do this all day. So this is not even something that is new to, with the whole Nicki Minaj, Lil' Kim thing in terms of the wigs and the outfits and the photo shoots. All she does is look back at Lil' Kim's catalog and, and modernize the pictures that she had. We can do that all day. But one of the things that I wanted to say was this is why people say that women in certain power can't put can't be in certain power because they don't know how to put things aside to to elevate i don't want Nicki minaj and and lil kim to be beefing i didn't want lil kim and foxy brown to be beefing i don't want Nicki minaj and cardi b to be beefing because these are all great powerful women and it's 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 sad to see that women, even with Nicki Minaj and Foxy Brown, they can't put that beef to the side, which I won't say petty because people died in, in their beef. People died and niggas went to jail with Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown. So I won't say it was petty, but they cannot look at a beef and say, okay, fuck all of this. There's success out there. There's money to be made. This shit is ridiculous. And Lil' Kim and Foxy Brown going on 50 years old. Like, let's put this bullshit to the side and let's go get this money. That's bullshit. I'm Foxy, you Kim. I'm Kim, you Foxy. Let's go get this money out there. Same thing for Cardi B and Nicki. If they put that bullshit to the side, do you know they will probably have the number one tour ever. But we will never know because they will never be able to put their mess to the side in order for the world to see that. And it's petty shit. It's media shit. The media sparked the beef between these people. Between Kim and Foxy. Between Nikki and Cardi. Lil' Kim started that shit between Nikki and Kim. <laughs> I gotta be honest there. Gotta be honest there. But for these women to put that BS to the side. And say, okay, let's go get this money. Let's let's go get the success. Let's go give the fans something. But and and and, and that's just it's just heartbreaking to know that Jay Z and Nas had one of the toughest, roughest beefs in hip hop. Fuck Jay Z and Nas, Jada Kiss and Benny Siegel. Them niggas was going at it. Disrespectful things, saying each other's name. No subliminals. No tweets. No trying to guess who I'm talking about. These niggas was going at each other. They dropped that bullshit. They put that bullshit inside and went and got money. And that will never be these women. As far as I know, the only one that's really out there, really moving and shaking and helping other women is Meg Thee Stallion and Cardi B. They really trying to bridge the gap with women, but it's the women that... It's the Kim, it's the Nikki, it's the, the Foxies, and and, and and whatever it is with Cardi and Nikki, at, which, I, which is bullshit. Drop that bullshit and, and come on, make a moment. Ho brought Nas out. Nas jumped on whole record. Make a moment. Come on. Let's see what my people on, on Twitter talking about. And shout out to everybody that's on Twitter that's following this, this conversation with me. Virgo Groove said, I think Lil' Kim should have got honored with the Vanguard Award at the VMAs this year instead of Nicki Minaj. My opinion, Lil' Kim been in the rap game longer than Nicki. I agree with that, Virgo Groove, because a lot of the stuff Nicki Minaj did in her video, she got from Lil' Kim. So if you're going if you're going to award somebody having a contribution, why don't you award it to the original contributor? 
but I, but you gotta remember MTV is for a younger crowd so you know who if they weren't trying to get that old of a crowd to watch they were trying to get the, the Nicki Minaj demographic to watch a so shout out to Virgo Groove uh, when Sis Smith said I'm not surprised Nicki Minaj forgot to mention Lil' Kim she's been obsessed with her trying to be her her whole life she knows Lil' Kim is the one and only eternal queen of rap to stand it creepy how upset she's always been with Kim shout out to my dude Winston Smith on that that's his opinion uh J- Jamaican J- Jamaican 206 I guess that's Jamaican and Puerto Rican says so how Nicki Minaj not acknowledge Lil' Kim okay cause everybody everybody feels this way BZ Baby said Lil' Kim paved the way for Nicki Minaj. I totally agree, BZ Baby. Oh, and Mo Madness says, so Nicki Minaj gave a speech and still did not give homage to the true queen of rap, Lil' Kim VMAs. Without her, they would not be able to be a Nicki Minaj. Absolutely true. And and I think what it, what it does, it just makes Nicki look bad in terms of, we know that you are inspired by Lil' Kim. We can see it. So when you not saying it just makes you look more petty than your husband's name. Uh, anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about Nicki Minaj not uh, acknowledging Little Kim at MTV Awards. Be sure to subscribe to NWO News with NWO Sparrow.